Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I wanted to show you how I upcycled these old plastic photo frames that I found in my local charity shop. So hopefully I can inspire some of you to upcycle and revamp your old photo frames before you go ahead and put them in the bin. <laughs> So first of all, I start by prepping my surface that I'm going to work on. So I take out the glass in the back end of the frame and I give it a really good clean using my multi-purpose cleaner and a cloth. I just give everything a good rub and scrub and try and get into all of the creases and crevices in the frame and just to make sure that I get all of the dirt out. After that was done, I went ahead and I sanded the frame using 120 grit sandpaper. Um, the main bits that I was trying to make sure and get was all of the flat bits, so the actual ornate bits. I went over them as, as much as I could get, but the main focus should be all of your flat bits to make sure that when you do paint your surface, everything sticks nicely to it. After sanding, I used warm water and a damp cloth to clean off all of the dust and to also clean off any residue left over from my multi-purpose spray that I used earlier. To degrease the surface, I applied a little bit of methylated spirit onto a cloth and I rubbed it all over the frame, making sure that I get into all of the creases and crevices so that when I apply my primer, it sticks nicely everywhere. Methylated spirit is used to degrease glass usually there are many different ways to degrease surface. You could just use warm soapy water or any kind of rubbing alcohol, surgical spirit or even just spirits that you might have at home. And the last step to prepare my surface is to prime it. The primer that I use is this one by the brand Color. It's called Difficult Surface Primer. It's not the best from what I've experienced personally. It takes a really long time for it to actually cure. It's best to leave it for about 24 hours or so. But I still find that if I scratch my finger across it, it might rub off. So I wouldn't personally recommend it. But at the moment, I'm still trying to get through the tin that I have. So I apply my primer all over the front and the back of the frame and I let it dry for at least a couple of hours before I go ahead and I start doing anything else. After my frames were fully prepped, I go ahead and I paint them. I decided to go for a kind of half and half look, so half a frame I painted white and half a frame I painted grey. The white paint that I'm using this time is by brand Rustoleum, it's their white chalk paint. Um, I just decided to try it because I ran out of my Wilco's white paint that I've been using and um, this one was like two pound cheaper so I decided to give this one a go. I personally found that it's like really really chalky and it dries very quickly so you have to like dip your brush in water for it to go on smoothly or just dilute your paint with water to get an even and smooth application so I won't be repurchasing this again um, in case if you're wondering and then the grey paint is just a mix of um, leftovers of old blue paint that I had from a project that I did before and a bit of black paint and a bit of this Rustoleum white chalk paint um, just to make it a little bit chalky, a little bit more similar in consistency. So I do half and half and I apply two coats both to the front and the back of the frame. And then came the blending. So in reality, it actually took me about 40 minutes just to do one frame because dry brushing technique can be a little bit time consuming. So essentially what I'm doing here to blend the gray and the white together is I pick up a little bit of paint, as you can see, with my dry natural bristle brush and I dab off any excess paint onto my plate so that the brush is practically dry and has barely any paint on it. And then any leftovers of the paint that are still on the brush, I gently 
go ahead and I apply them to the frame and to blend my grey and the white together. I applied grey on top of the white and then white on top of the grey just to make that contrast a little bit softer. I mainly focused on the border between the white and the grey and also the corners so I applied more paint in the corners and on that border itself just to make it a little bit more faded out and so I apply more paint in the corners and gently fade it out towards the middle. Once I was done blending I applied my two favourite decor waxes. So first of all I applied Art Alchemy Wax by the brand Finnebar in the colour Peacock and then over the top of it I applied my gold antique paste by Pentart that I also love very much and it gave me this lovely bluish greenish antique patina kind of look and I only applied it into the four corners both from the front and the back of the frame at this point. Next I applied my gilding flakes so I use Mod Podge to glue them down. I basically just work one small section at a time, apply a little bit of Mod Podge then stick my gold flakes on top and use another acrylic brush just to dab them down just to make sure that they stick everywhere and as I said I work one small section at a time. I didn't really have a system in place as to where I wanted to place them. I just kind of applied them where I felt there was needed. I didn't want to do too much so I only applied little bits here and there wherever I felt it seemed right and then I leave them to dry for about half hour to an hour and using another acrylic brush but with slightly tougher bristles I remove any excess flakes. And then I did the same thing to my larger frames that I decided to leave without blending. So I decided to just kind of go ahead and apply the flakes straight away. So the only real difference that I made sure that I did was to wrap my golden flakes around the border where the grey meets the white to make sure that the silver flakes kind of cover up that little, little border there. With these silver frames I also did the back slightly differently. So where you saw on the smaller frames I blended both the front and the back back um, with these ones because I didn't do any blending I decided to just paint the back fully grey so at this point it was still half and half white and grey both on the front and the back but then once I was done with gilding I decided that I did not like the way that it looked on the back with the high contrast so I just repainted the back After I was done gilding I applied some more deco wax so I decided to apply some more gold wax on my gold frames focusing mainly again 
just a little bit more on the corners and on the ornate bits around the outer edges of the frame and with the silver frames I decided to apply some silver decor wax but kind of all over the frame just to make it shine a little bit more because as I didn't do any blending on that frame I kind of looked a little bit bland to me so I wanted to add a little bit more shine to it and make the contrast between silver flakes and the white and the grey a little bit less in your face. To seal my frames I used clear Annie Sloan chalk paint wax and the reason why I decided to use it is because I've already applied quite a bit of wax onto my frames and I like using wax either way, it's very tough, it gives a really good protection and I've used a lot of chalk paints on this frame so it just kind of made sense. And that is the end of the video, so that's the whole process. In reality of course it took me quite a bit longer than what you see here in the video as I also did five of them at the same time. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video, I hope that I've inspired you to maybe go ahead and upcycle some of your old frames or use some of these techniques in other projects that you might have in mind. If you did enjoy it make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Any questions or comments please do leave them in the comment section down below. If you would like to see more of me my social media links are down in the description as well as the link to my Etsy shop so make sure to go ahead and check those out and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!